Okay, folks, we're going to get started. Compliance with the Open Public Meetings Law. It was stated on November 8, 2013, the notice of this meeting in the Upper Township Committee was posted on the official Township Bulletin Board, mailed to the Cape May County Gazette, the Atlantic City Press, the Ocean City Sentinel Ledger, and the Herald Times, and filed with the Township Clerk. Tonight's meeting is being video recorded and will be available on UTTV Channel 2 and on the Upper Township website. I hereby direct that this announcement be made a part of the minutes of this meeting. I may ask all to rise for the salute of the flag. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Barbara, would you call the roll, please? Mr. Barr? Here. Mr. Person? Here. Mr. Nsera? Here. Mr. Newman? Here. Mr. Plumbo? Here. All members are present. Okay. I'd like to make a motion that we approve the minutes of the October 20th regular and closed session. Second. Is there any corrections, deletions, omissions that anyone's aware of? Hearing none, would you call the roll, please? Mr. Barr? Yes. Mr. Corson? Yes. Mr. Nsera? Yes. Mr. Newman? Yes. Mayor Palumbo? Yes. Motion is carried. Okay. Barbara, do you have anything for us this evening? I just have one item. I would like to invite everyone to attend the annual uh, holiday tree lighting here at the uh, Township Building. And that will be on November 25th at 6.30 p.m., just prior to the next uh, committee meeting. Okay. And that's all I have this evening. Thank you. What's up? At 6.30, is that what you said? 6.30, okay. yes. Daniel. Uh, nothing at this time, but we do have a couple items for closed session, a contract negotiation, and a litigation matter. Okay. Paul, uh, thank you. Uh, first, um, at the public works department is getting ready to demolish the, uh, the old Sam's Golf Station. And uh, before we can do that, uh, I need to request the committee to waive the uh, construction permit fee uh, since the township is the applicant. And uh, instead of getting a purchase order, the township writing a check to itself to pay for the construction fee, uh, talk to the construction official. And if the committee waives the requirement for the the demolition fee, then there, there would be no requirement to have a fee for that project. I make a motion to waive the fee for the uh, demolition second as well. Any further discussion? Is that something you would do in house? Or? We're going to do it in house. We're using the, uh, the MUA uh, rebate that the township gets to dispose of the uh, demolition. demolition debris, uh, but the work will actually be done by township employees. And, and all, all safety precautions will be put in place, masks and things like that, to prevent yes. any. We're trucking ourselves, or yeah, we'll be trucking that ourselves. Uh, the next thing I just want to call the roll, please. Mr. Barr? Yes. Mr. Corson? Yes. Mr. Nsera? Yes. Mr. Newman? Yes. Mayor Plumbo? Yes. Motion is carried. Okay, go ahead. Thank you. Uh, just wanted to remind the uh, committee and all the residents that uh, leaf collection season, loose leaf collection is starting next week, and uh, that we're no longer collecting. Uh, uh, brush. So let's, you know, we'll start next week picking up these and uh, probably be able to make two rounds to the township uh, before the end of the year. Uh, the next item, I just wanted to give the township committee an update on the, the green team. Uh, we've, we've met several times over the last uh, couple of months. Uh, we've, we've made some good assistance with the health fair. Uh, we were able to bring some additional vendors uh, to the township's health fair. Uh, several of the members have attended uh, some sustainability seminars over at Stockton and going over Ocean City, some different locations to have uh, visit some events. And uh, they act, we uh, approved the mission statement this afternoon at our meeting. And uh, it's the, the Every Time the Green Team working towards a more sustainable upper township is uh, the mission statement for the, the team. So uh, they're moving forward, making, we're making some progress, and uh, we'll give the committee updates as we move along. And that's all I have. Thank you. Okay. Thank you, Barbara. Thank you, Jay. Yes, Mr. Mayor. Uh, first of all, I'd like to uh, take this time to publicly congratulate uh, John and uh, Toby on their uh, election on um, uh, last Tuesday. Yeah, last Tuesday, a week ago. Um, congratulations, and you can rest assured that uh, anything we can do or I can do to uh, assist in any kind of transition, we'll be happy to do it. Any questions you have, please feel free to ask and it will be forthcoming. 
Um, the uh, thing I have is uh, Paul, I, I did send me an email um, regarding, there seems to be a lot of these signs that are misspelled. Um, yes. Is there a, a plan? I, uh, I, I don't know how to put together to begin with, either misspelled or misnamed or something along those lines. Is there a plan to repair? Or as we've been noticing, as they've been coming up, most of the time it's been a resident that calls you know, that afternoon and uh, we usually go out and uh, peel the letters off and put the the correct spelling on the list. Apparently when the uh, public works department put the list together, they were um, going off an inspection list, not the official name list. Okay. So there were some uh, typos on some of the, uh, the wording. Yeah, and some of the things that, that like, uh, I think it was something down the Well, no, I mean, I was taking care of Hollywood, say, Avenue, and it's always been the name. And, and it was correct, both the east and west side on off and on. I think Greenbrier's wrong, and I sent you about Bird. Bergens are, I think, been in Boston. We also have that kind of EDO John Court. Uh, okay. This is all it, 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 sound, it must be a quick process because it seemed like it only happened the next day. I, mean, they, I think they, had, they, they usually can correct them within the day. Okay. That's all I have. Thank you. Okay. Curtis. Thank you, Rich. Uh, also, John, I hope you'd like to congratulate you on the win. Anything we can do to make this smooth transition? Here to help you have my phone numbers. And at this time, Mr. Mayor, I don't think I have any. Oh, I will get one more thing. I will be missing the next meeting. I'm going to wait for my annual vacation, so the next meeting I will not be present. Going hunting, huh? I'm going to hand you. You can't be out of this one. Tony. A couple of things. The home and handling the clock the other day. One of the residents of Stagecoach approached us. It seems to be that the speed limit is quite high here. You'll have to see the government reduced from uh, Butter Road to Ashley uh, Roosevelt Road. Yeah. I think it should be because I've seen people go 66, 365, 70 miles an hour on the street. Two things. One, reduce the speed, and the other two, uh, we need to have the state police possibly step up uh, for sure. Yeah. Um, um, and, and I absolutely agree with you. The, 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 the thing that, um, just some history, uh, at one time, stage post was 25, and that was induced by the council. Yes. And the tickets were unfortunately not valid because we didn't have the authority to change the sign to 25. So, um, what is it, 30? 35. And we have, on several occasions, tried to get the county to come in and do a survey. Um, and, and possibly look at change, because the county is the one that has control of the speed limit. Yes. For the process speed limits that are out there now, they are based on the, the engineering study that they did at the time. But, but there's no yeah. question people don't follow the speed limit. I mean, that much I absolutely agree with. Right. Um, the question is, is how do we circumvent? Um, w when we had 25 up, it probably slowed the signs down, but it wasn't enforceable. Well, that's nothing that we came to see and thought on the police to see if they step up control a little bit. We can actually put the, uh, you know, the vehicle that we partnered with that kind of on the speed check. We have had the other in the uh, We can put that back out there. They're actually, the county's doing a study right now on Pushing Tower Road, and I think they're uh, six, six, yeah. six, 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 yeah, they're six months into that study, so it's, uh, and I don't think they had anywhere near coming up with a result yet. But. Have we done, I'm sure we've done a resolution for that in the past. Can, can you, for the next meeting, research that and see if we have a resolution? If we don't, then we can certainly do a resolution um, uh, to that effect. We, um, I can tell you in the past we have had the state police increase patrols, and, uh, and, and frankly, because I drive it a couple times a day and live in that area, um, when we did that in the past, uh, I would see the presence there and I'd see them pull people over. Um, a lot of times it's, it's geared towards uh, some of the younger folks to and from the high school. Um, if you look at the time of day when it happens, um, uh, that, so they know the time of day, it's early in the morning and usually late afternoon, early evening that, that the speeding occurs. Is, is that fair statement, Tony, about when you think uh, it is? I haven't seen the afternoon, too. Yeah. It's driving, driving on back and forth. Right. Back and forth. It's, 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 it's usually not in the middle of the day you find it, it's usually it's early, early. It's the time of the day that it's walked on. Paul, what was the last time they did that survey? It's been probably four or five years at least. I think it's been, I think, five years. The one you referred to was probably ten years ago. 
Yeah, yeah, it's been a while. We were, yeah, so it's well over time. We've had increased okay. development yeah. across the yeah. roadway. I'm sure it should be residential now. So 25 miles. So you know what? Um, if you want, make a motion. Because 10 years really is is is, is not yeah, something we can rely on anyway for a resolution. So if you'd like to make a measure, mo uh, yeah, I'm not the motion, no, we contact the county and look to lower the speed limit on stage. As a matter of fact, about a month ago, I think I did email Jay, uh, state police work for the yeah. Yeah. Okay, so they are just give the word All right, so we have a first and we have a second. Any other discussion? Let's call the roll, please. Mr. Barr? Yes. Mr. Corson? Yes. Mr. Inseris? Yes. Mr. Newman? Yes. Mayor Palumbo? Yes. Motion is carried. Well, the other thing is that I don't know how to do this, but the, uh, there's a problem with the, um, the wall in the back here. The pen itself is about a quarter of the way. It's not broken yet, it's broken. Paul had a price on it and replacing it when it was done. I thought that maybe I, I could go with the help of a couple of people from the boards. I don't know if that's, you know, if I could do it, if I'm allowed to do it or not. Um, <laughs> He's the person we want to ask. <laughs> Sorry, you, what was your suggestion? You can do a job here in the, in the um, with the wall of the windows. Oh, and you want, so, and, and, and something that, now, would, if you couldn't do it for hire, you might be able to donate some services, but you couldn't do it for hire, because it would be a conflict. And I go without charge for more. You can't charge. Right. Yeah. So I, I don't see a reason why you couldn't help and donate. The, your services that I mean people I can do that the, uh, but you would you might want to I, how big is the job first of all well the price that we got was what eight thousand that's a pretty big job yeah, but it's, it's about two thousand dollars worth of materials yeah. well no it's about five hundred dollars worth of it's five to uh, six hundred dollars probably uh, fifty to ten is a hundred dollars what's what's exactly what the actual it's tank right. for the the water system uh, the bottom base of it is rusting how big is it the, the only thing I'd be concerned with, uh, uh, Tony, is we have to make sure that ins there's insurance in place and that you're covered. Uh, we talked to the risk management consultant that that wouldn't be a problem. Yeah, but as long, as long as you're not getting, you know, financial gain out of it, it's not a conflict, in my opinion. No, I'm supervisor. Supervisor, you're correct on what Yeah. Yeah. As long as you'd be covered under insurance, I don't think that'd be a problem. It's a, a no-brainer. I mean, I thought it was a wall tank. I mean, I, I put them in on my shelf. I mean, it's, it's not good for $3,000. We've got a lot of estimate. $7,000. $8,000. Where did they get $8,000? I don't know. That's the building that we questioned. How many questions did you get? That's the first one. Yeah. That's the first one. Yeah. 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 So basically, you'd be supervising our workers is basically what you'd be doing. Yeah. yeah. As, as long as it's not, you know, financial considerations, you, you should be fine as long as you're covered by insurance. Now, do, do we need to make well, a motion for approval? My insurance or? No, no. Uh, we make sure the township insurance carrier will cover your activities as department head, you know, that kind of thing. Okay. I think you're just going to supervise, right? Yeah. From right on there and turn this. I mean, he's not going to touch. He's going to supervise. I don't think he needs insurance. <laughs> yeah, but if something, for whatever reason, goes wrong and, yes. and he's hurt, yeah, he yes. it has to be covered. Do we need to make a motion for expenditures for that? Well, I don't think so. No, I don't think so. Okay. Um, the other thing is that we had a meeting this morning with over the um, EMN budget, uh, and public works is about. 10% on the budget call, which is a good thing. For, for where we're at the, yeah. at this point, yes. Is that for O&E and salary? O&E. I mean, salary is that mm -hmm. budget because... But one thing you've always <coughs> the public works about this time of year when you saw where they were on your budget, you've always expended money on salt. Yeah. That was... Probably um, didn't use any salt last that year, did we? That was our... There is, there is some salt that was purchased yeah. already. Yeah, water to go over when you find that. That could disappear quick. <laughs> it's all I have. Okay. Hey, again, John, Obi, congratulations on your election bid, and uh, look forward to working with you. Uh, 
Unfortunately, over the weekend, uh, we experienced some vandalism at uh, a man's field at the at the public restrooms. Um, we're going to have to do some internal controls as far as uh, you know, making sure things are locked up and inspected after the use of the facilities. So, uh, un unbeknownst to us, somebody did gain access. We don't know how, but uh, there was some damage. Well, Corporal, you know, Barbara suggests that we get a uh, lock sign that you can't duplicate the keys. She feels that there's too many keys out here now. I'm not too many people have had access to it. Why, why can't we do a like a, a digital a digital lock where well, there's, there's a code? Well, there's a code. 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 What mechanisms, what locking mechanisms we have in place right now and what we can do to try to limit the access that, that uh, is already out there. So and nothing is that, that, you know, even if you, you know who did it, just try to damage it. So I don't think it's going to make a difference. I think we should have a cause in place that you're you break your pay, you want to edit it, you get uh, a fine against it, a substantial fine, and uh, that's the other stuff going on. Or uh, abandon, you know, stop them from using the facilities I know, in, in the future. Stop everybody, like, no, I, no, 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 I'm saying a person's responsible. Yeah, yeah. yeah right. You know, like, like, like they, 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 can't, they can't be actively involved with sports or involved with other things if they're involved with, you know, the vandals. What was the intent of the vandal when we had home? Containers and stuff are broken in the bathroom, and a couple of the fixtures. The handle of the toilet was broken, which is uh, probably won't be able to, to replace it because the toilet's going to go. I don't know how much it's going to cost that. And, uh, the only other thing I have to report is tomorrow night the uh, Township Business Association is having their community you know, over at the school, so uh, from 6 to, I think it's 6 to 9. So 6 to 9, or if anybody's uh, interested, be nice to attend. and. Uh, See what's going on in the township business process. <coughs> that, that's all I have. Okay. And to echo my colleagues, um, congratulations again, Hobie and John. Um, and just for the public's um, edification, we have started the, transa the transition. Uh, they, they get help materials that the township committee is working on now so that they can go through a smooth transition and they're up to speed with what's going on. Um, and on top of that, uh, we normally have reorganization on the first Friday in January. It happens to be the third. Um, and I'll look to you, fellas. Uh, we normally do it around 6.30. Uh, it depends if that works with your schedule or with your family schedule. Um, do it a little bit earlier than the normal meeting just because uh, if you want to celebrate a little bit after, it doesn't make it such a late night. But uh, we, can, we can make the time uh, determined based on your schedule and your family schedule. So if you just let us know, we'll, we'll make that known. 6.30 works? Okay, so so um, let's post that officially, uh, the reorganization for January 3rd at 6.30. Years ago, we used to New Year's Day at noon. <laughs> well, the, the, the way it has to, by, by statute, it has first to be done in the first week of January, reorganization. So. Um, I don't think anybody likes to come January 1st. Nobody likes to come on a Sunday. So Friday night seems to be better from a family and friend standpoint. So that's why we've had a tradition on Friday night. Next year might be a little different because it gets pretty close to January 1st. So we'll see. Or the next couple of years anyway. So that's all I have. Um, let's move on to uh, the resolutions, please. Okay. Item number one, authorizing the purchase of certain items from the 2013 Capital Improvement Bond Ordinance in the amount of $23,272.29. Well, I'd just like to bring to the committee's attention before uh, you vote on it. This was, these three purchases you had discussed at the last meeting. Um, however, we had a change to the playground equipment. Um, we had gotten an incorrect quote, and the quote uh, is $600 additional. You had approved uh, the purchase for the playground equipment of 67.87.29. It's now 73.87.29. The other two items remain the same. So I wanted to bring that to your attention. Any motion? If you want to discuss it anymore, but I just wanted to make sure that you were aware that the, the cost for the playground equipment, as discussed at the last meeting, has increased. I'll make a motion to approve that resolution. Any other discussion? Hearing none. Call roll, please. 
Mr. Barr? Yes. Mr. Pearson? Yes. Mr. Insera? Yes. Mr. Newman? Yes. Mayor Palumbo? Yes. Motion is carried. Um, just one question, Paul. Timeline on the, the playground to be repaired in, uh, um, on secondary it really needs most some drastic work. Most likely, uh, with the purchase order going out probably later this week, uh, we should take delivery of the playground before the end of the year and would be installed in you know, the early part of January. Okay. Thanks. Okay. Item number two, appointing Michael J. Donahue, Esquire, and the Law Offices of Blaney and Donahue as special legal counsel to complete certain in-rem foreclosure matters. Move the resolution. Second. And this is the discussion we had. This is an ongoing um, we're cleaning up the REMS foreclosure right down. Is that yeah, tax lien foreclosures. It's a continuation of uh, contracts he's had for a number of years at a flat rate. Okay. Would you call the roll, please? Mr. Barr? Yes. Mr. Corson? Yes. Mr. Insera? Yes. Mr. Newman? Yes. Mayor Plumbo? Yes. Motion is carried. Item number three, accepting the bid and authorizing the execution of a contract with South State of Bridgeton, New Jersey for the project known as the 2013 Paving Project and the NJDOT Municipal Aid Project Reconstruction of Ocean Avenue from Wild Avenue to Sea Sounds Avenue at a cost of $1,019,787.20. Please. This part of the bond? Yes. Okay. Part of the bond and $150,000 from the uh, NJDOT grant. <coughs> so it's about 888000 from uh, the bond and 150000 from the grant. Move the resolution. Second. You have any more to discuss it more? <coughs> okay. Just call the roll, please. Mr. Barr? Yes. Mr. Quirson? Yes. Mr. Insera? I'll um, stand again for this. Mr. Newman? Yes. Mayor Palumbo? Yes. Motion is carried with four in favor and Mr. and Sarah abstaining. Item number four, authorizing a shared services agreement with the County of Cape May for the use of equipment. Under the resolution, this is what we discussed. Second. Would you call the roll, please? Mr. Barr? Yes. Mr. Corson? Yes. Mr. and Sarah? Yes. Mr. Newman? Yes. Mayor Palumbo? Yes. Motion is carried. Item number five is budget transfers. Move resolution. Transfer the funds from one to one from another. Yes. Uh, I'll well, hold on. I'll second just for a protocol for discussion. Okay, go ahead. What we do is obviously a couple of line items we didn't utilize as much as we had, and the other line items were short. We can't transfer our funds from one line item to another until. Just November March. Uh, so, the reason that the um, they fell short, what do we have a reason for, or do we not look at enough money, or what's the uh, reason for it? Uh, there's various reasons. Um, the DCRP is the defined contribution that that you're in, and some other employees. Um, this is the first year that we've had uh, quite a few employees in it, so it's hard to estimate what the township's contribution would be. That's the one. Um, line that I'm, I'm asking for $500 to be transferred into. Um, taxes, the assessment of taxes, you have already approved, the committee has already approved uh, the tax assessor to do additional work for the informal tax appeals. That's what that is for. Um, in going through all the budget lines, uh, the operating expenses of the assessor's office was a little low, so that's, the, uh, that's another $500. Um, the next item, um, the uh, contract ACO is the animal control officer. That sometimes is hard to estimate um, because their contract is written, they have an, a uh, flat fee each month, but then um, during the month, if they get called out by state police or other people to pick up animals, there's an additional charge to that. Or an animal so, or requires the, medical attention. Right. Right, so there's additional charges to their set monthly fee. And that's not included in the contract. contract. It is included in the contract that they receive X amount for additional call outs. So it's in the contract, but it's hard to budget, is what I'm saying. Well, the contract doesn't cover treatment for animals, though. 
No, that comes out of a, a separate. So if they, they um, find a right. like if, if uh, they, they find a dog that's been wounded, um, you know, if surgery or something needs to be performed, then uh, they do it at a minimal amount, but we, we cover that expense. Mm -hmm. Or we have, anyway. And then the last item, uh, Beach Patrol had requested, they had an overage in their salary line. They are requesting um, that that be moved over um, to their operating expenses to buy uh, uniforms and some other equipment um, to help offset the cost for the following year's budget. So that's within the same form. Right. Correct. It doesn't really come. It doesn't really come from the same department. You're transferring X amount of money from certain lines to X amount of money in the same lines. Just as long as they equal, that's what you need. Any other discussion? Do, do we have a motion? <coughs> yeah, yeah there was a second. Oh, oh, first, sorry. First, did I second? Okay. All right, I missed that one. Okay, Mr. Barr. Yes. Mr. Corson. Yes. Mr. Sarah. Yes. Mr. Newman? Yes. Mayor Palumbo? Yes. Motion is carried. Item number six, authorizing the execution of the Municipal Alliance Fiscal Grant Extension for the period of January 1, 2014 to January 30th, 2014. Move resolution. Thank you. And, and this is um, what we have partnered with Ocean City in an effort to, to get together and put funds together to uh, utilize some more you know basic training things and youth activities uh it's it's worked rather well to combine the funds that ocean city and upper receive and and they're able to offer more programs by doing it that way so that's what this is about so we call the roll mr Hall? yes mr Corson? yes mr Insera? yes mr newman yes mayor palumbo yes the motion is carried Item number seven under ordinances. Introduction and first reading of ordinance number 12, an ordinance revising job classification and, and titles and amending chapter five entitled personnel of the Code of Upper Township. Will be introduced ordinance number 12, 2013, for the final hearing to be on December 9th. Second. Okay, and at this time there will be no public comment, but you'll have an opportunity, the public will have an opportunity to discuss this particular ordinance on December 9th. So would you call the roll, please? Mr. Well, for the record, all this ordinance does is it brings our job titles in line with uh, civil service civil service guidelines. So there are our titles and their titles match up. Mr. Barr? Yes. Mr. Corson? Yes. Mr. Insera? Yes. Mr. Newman? Yes. Mayor Palumbo? Yes. Motion is carried. Item number eight, introduction and first reading of ordinance number 13, 2013, an ordinance establishing salaries for the Township of Upper for the calendar year 2014. At this time, I'm going to ask if this could be tabled to our next meeting. I won't be here for the introduction, but uh, there is some corrections we need to make. So you'll have to re-advertise it. No. It doesn't get advertised for an introduction. Okay. Okay. All right. All right. So, do we need a motion to table or just one I, motion? I would like the record to reflect since it was on the agenda. So, would that I'd like to get a formal motion. Second. Would you call the roll, please? Mr. Barr? Yes. Mr. Corson? Yes. Mr. Insera? Yes. Mr. Newman? Yes. Mayor Palumbo? Yes. Motion is carried. Item number nine, introduction and first reading of ordinance number 14, 2013, an ordinance authorizing an emergency appropriation pursuant to NJSA 40A 4-53 for the preparation and execution of a complete program of revaluation of real property for the use of the local assessor. Uh, I'd like to make the motion that we introduce ordinance number 14 of 2013 in the public hearing and final adoption schedule for the December 9th meeting. Second. Okay. Now, just to remind the committee, I guess, for the edification, um, the edification, the township is under an order from the Cape Mechanic Board of Taxation to have the revaluation completed um, by next year to be effective in the following year. And in order to do that uh, and provide the funds for it, this ordinance would be uh, would need to be introduced and adopted so that you can spread the cost out over five years. 
and that will begin next year. Okay. Okay. Would you call the roll, please? Mr. Barr? Yes. Mr. Corson? Yes. Mr. Insara? Yes. Mr. Newman? Yes. Mayor Palumbo? Yes. Motion is carried. Item number 10, under new business, New Jersey NJDEP treatment works application of consent form for Richard Arcavati, Block 838, Lot 11 at 38 East Vincent Avenue in Strathmere. Well, this is the normal thing that we have to do so, that, so they can approve and get along with septic systems or something? Correct. Essentially, it's a certification that their, their proposed project complies with all municipal rules and regulations and ordinances. And uh, I reviewed the plot plan and uh, the layout of the proposed property is a conforming use and it shows conforming setbacks. So that's really uh, the process. But because the septic system doesn't meet some of the technical requirements, they have to apply to the treatment works approval to the DEP as opposed to uh, applying to the Cayman County Health Department for their approval for their septic system. So we have to make a motion to approve that? Yes. I'll make a motion to approve the, the Second. Any other discussion? Just call the roll, please. Mr. Barr? Yes. Mr. Corson? Yes. Mr. Insara? Yes. Mr. Newman? Yes. Mayor Palumbo? Yes. Motion is carried. Item number 11, NJDEP Treatment Works application of consent form for Charles and Sandra Koning, Block 861, Lot 5, located at Commonwealth Avenue in Strathmere. And this is the same thing. The same thing. And I have reviewed this one, and it, it also complies with our ordinance for the proposed plot plan. Okay. So I'd like to make a motion to approve. Motion approve. Second. Second. Call the roll, please. Mr. Barr. Yes. Mr. Corson. Yes. Mr. Insara. Yes. Mr. Newman. Yes. Mayor Palumbo. Yes. Motion is carried. Item number twelve under unfinished business: municipal purchases with the municipal capital bond. Capital bond. Well, obviously, we've, uh, the last meeting we're waiting here from our bond council. We have heard from our bond council, and that's something we can do. That's the wish. It does require a, an, an ordinance to make these changes. Yes. So, basically, what you're doing, I guess Paul would explain what the, the memorandum uh, requests and we need direction from the committee whether to put the ordinance on the uh, uh, agenda or future agenda. Now, this ordinance would have to be, do we have to do it this year or is it something that we... Well, it might be kind of tight to do it this year. I think you were anticipating, Barbara, from, if I'm not mistaken, the last time we talked that it would go on at the beginning of the year. Um, or do you think you have no, enough time for this if, year? If the committee is in agreement uh, tonight, we can put it on the agenda for the next meeting. So you have enough time. Mm -hmm. have enough time. Okay. If it goes, if, if we cannot put it on the agenda for uh, the next meeting, it would have to wait until January. Yeah, you, you can't stagger it right. at the end of one year to the beginning of the next. I wasn't sure of your time frame. But it also should, should be noted that this does not change the total amount of the bond that we've already purchased. This changes, just changes some of the, the purposes. The purposes. And well, some but there's some things that are in addition here. Well, uh, well, well this was, uh, these two trucks are in addition to what we had bonded, and this is spending the extra money that we got rent money from. Yes. It's, I understand that, right, Paul? Correct. Taking some of the portions of what we had grant money, not the entire portion, but portions of what some of the lines we had grant money, received grant money for, and then applying that towards increasing line items that, that were already there. Uh, the one line item was for building security. Uh, there already was a line item for building security, but based on the uh, meeting with the security committee and the number of facilities that we're looking at programming uh, security features for, uh, you know, we would probably only be able to to, to do uh, this this building. Uh, we would not be able to do any security at uh, the Public Works Building, Community Center, Caldwell Park, or Amanda's Field, where I think we just discussed earlier this evening, you know, uh, vandalism at one of the fields, and, you know, cameras may have prevented or been able to uh, identify. Well, well so that's where do we get the amount of $150,000? Well, the cameras would identify who went in the bathroom. I don't think we can legally put cameras in the bathroom. Correct. <laughs> 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 
It's based on some of the initial estimates we had at, at the various facilities already. We had some preliminary proposals done uh, at the end of last year uh, when we were for budgetary time. Uh, you know, so taking those budgetary quotes for some of the fields and then uh, based on what we're looking at, that's what we'll be looking at for security for the facilities. Yeah, this is the full one here. Right. Well, if we're going to do an ordinance, obviously, every time we change our initial bond, we have to do it by the ordinance. If it's a substantial change, it has to be done by ordinance. And our asphalt came in under budget. Now, it, it increased. You can always spend less. Yes, correct. But, I mean, we're all, I mean, if we're going to change our municipal capital bond, by ordinance. Every time we do an ordinance, it costs money. And we all know that we're going to need the third trash truck. And if we're going to do it, we should probably put that on that bond ordinance too. Well, I suggest that we wait on that till we have a uh, Well, the suggestion you could do is you could put it on the bond ordinance, but then not authorize it to go out to bid until you make a final decision on that. So like you, you, you appropriate or make the money available doesn't mean that you have to spend it. You still have to go out and authorize the bid to be. I know, but I, I heard that before too. We, you know, we well, have the money here, but we have to spend it. And again, we went through. Well, so some, some of these projects are looking at right now. Yeah, yeah. And yeah. then Tony, you were the one who said you didn't want to put the capital improvement stuff on. Then we got to well, grant money for because you didn't want to spend it. And this is your department's proposal to spend it. So. So the question is. Do we want to move forward with it with this um, requests uh, and you know I mean it, it, we're just launching the ordinance doesn't mean we're spending it but anytime we do spend a capital bond we've set it up when anything spent out of the capital bond has to come back in front of the committee and a resolution has to be put on the agenda to spend it. just like we did earlier tonight on those three items that we had in the bond the playground and Playground, the uh, Two small mower, mower, and oh, the, uh, yeah. the mower. Dump truck. I mean, if we put the truck in there, which we all know is so we're going to need the third truck, it doesn't mean it's, we're running out the water behind the truck. It's, we're setting it up so in the future, in the future, the township governor body at that time wants to buy a truck, you can do it by resolution and not spend the money to change the one ordinance again. And I said before. For the folks who are moving ahead with this, I'm going to approve this. I'm going to, I'm going to, I'm going to vote yes on it. Move forward. When we get to that, we'll see what we're allowed to spend the money. the way it stands, or do you want to change this? Can, but can we change? Can we add something? It's already been advertised. I mean, this, this isn't advertised. This is just a, a memorandum to say. Yeah. Yes. We want to change the draft for the next meeting to include the trash truck. Should we put the trash truck? It's a yes or no. If we want to put the trash truck on here or not. I mean, it's, Honestly, at the first year, I'm not going to be here. So really, in the interest of saving the tens of some money, if we put it on there, that saves us going back, somebody going back, and we're going to do an ordinance. How much are you on this? What cost? You're going to tell me the ordinance is $150, $200. Uh, it's and probably a little more than that with bond council, maybe another $1,500. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's going to be about $1,500 for the trash truck. Well, possible. You're, you're, you're talking anywhere from a thousand to two thousand dollars, probably. Yeah. So, I mean, if you put it on there, it doesn't mean it gets spent. I mean, so we're going to make a motion to put it on there. Well, well, we're going to finish business and open discussion. He needs an ordinance. He needs a ratchet. We need to write the attorney. Have but, the, a motion. I, I would like a motion as to what, if you're going to amend the bond, a motion as to what it includes, the, the items in this memo all or some and we're with uh, I guess the discussion is now for the third truck. Uh, See so what, what, what I think is, is you know not to, to bound the future committee which we, you know which we don't want to do this just just opens another opportunity. That's up to them or not whether they want to spend the money. Right? It requires it requires a resolution to go out to bid and then it requires accepting the bid. So if it's put in this bond capital bond Ordinance, it doesn't mean the money is being spent. It just means the availability of money is available to spend it if needed. And then they'll actually knock 60 days off the process 
When they find out they need the third truck. And not if they find out, when they find out. <laughs> and it will also allow less, uh, it costs a little bit less. I mean, 150 dollars or up, up, up to a thousand dollars potentially to draft another ordinance. It, it, no, the bond council. I think there's flat flat fee is is around fifteen hundred dollars to do a bond ordinance. That's usually. That's that's what I recall. Seem to recall. So um, in that range. So so we're talking. We're saving us fifteen hundred dollars. I think the not spending. It, it, it needs even things. Fifteen hundred dollars is something. Hold on, one money. We're talking you know four million dollars of which we expenditure. None of us are sure whether uh, two trucks are going to be enough or three are going to be enough. We're just assuming that two plus the three. We don't know what's going to happen. What I'd like to see is get these two trucks that we're getting out, move forward. If we need another one, then we go on and purchase. The one is in the bond. Well, you've got to get through all this again, that's all. We're looking at $1,500. You've got to see these things. It's not a whole lot of money. I'm going to take a chance on that and say, that's good. Okay. No. And everything else on here you're comfortable with? At this point, and, and to move forward with this and to secure the camera and all that, that's probably the one for it. And uh, yeah, the truck, I mean, uh, I think that's great. We might come up with different ways to do it, but thanks. I don't know. So, I would like to make a motion that we direct the, uh, the solicitor to put together a bond movements, excuse me, change the movements as noted in the memo. Without the trash truck. Actually, it would be bond cancel, or cancel, or whatever. Put the ordinance in there. Is there a second? Say this given please. Uh, yeah. Is that a second? Is that a second? That's a second. Okay, is there any other discussion? Let's go roll, please. Mr. Barr? Yes. Mr. Corson? Yes. Mr. Insara? Yes. Mr. Newman? Yes. Mayor Plumbo? Yes. Motion is carried. Now will that be available to introduce at the next meeting? Yes, yes. That, that, that's the yes. issue. We have to introduce it at the next yes. meeting to make sure we have enough time. Yes. Okay. Uh, I hereby move that all claims submitted for payment at this meeting be approved and incorporated in full in the minutes of this meeting. Is there a second? Second. Yeah. Charlie Roll, please. Mr. Barr? Yes. Mr. Corson? Yes. Mr. Insara? Yes. Mr. Newman? Yes. Mayor Palumbo? Yes. Motion is carried. Um, there are a number of uh, Municipal Department of Reports, Construction Code, Clerk's Office, Animal Control, Division of EMS, Tax Assessor, MUA Report, <coughs> Department of Public Works, Tax Collector. Uh, these will be available tomorrow upon request at the Township Clerk's Office, but I'll make a motion that we approve the acceptance of these reports. Second. Which call roll, please? Mr. Barr? Yes. Mr. Corson? Yes. Mr. Insara? Yes. Mr. Newman? Yes. Mayor Palumbo? Yes. Motion is carried. Okay, at this time, um, we'll open it up for public comment. Uh, anyone would like to address the Township Committee, now's the time to do so. Please come up and state your name and address before addressing the Township Committee. Mike Jones, 263 Marshall Road. Talk about. Um, did you say $150,000 to finish security for Town Hall? No, no, no. It, it will be security overall for all the, the buildings and grounds that are going to be addressed. So, so it would be public works, process. it would be this building, it would be Manus Field, it would be Cobalt Park, Park other, other facilities that are, are being assessed from a security standpoint. So what facility, what facility is going to be next to get security towns? Well, I don't think, I mean, well, first of all, we have to approve the money to, to spend yet, so. I, I don't really think Mike did. If we're going to put a security plan out there, the last thing we're going to do is publish it in the newspaper. So, uh, I'm I understand not asking to publish it in the newspaper, but... No, the, the idea is that there's a security um, committee that was put together to look at uh, various phases and ways of addressing some of the security issues we have, and then also to utilize some of the new systems that we have in place so that it will be integrated with the existing computer system that we have here at the, at the municipal hall so that it could be monitored no matter where it is, from this facility or public works or whatever, it'll be able to be streamlined. God, so I just like to make one recommendation to you guys when you do your security committee is that you should include a, a, a township employee. Who's on the township? Who's on the security committee? Uh, right now, uh, Newman, Mark, Newman, Newman, myself, and uh, Steve Police. 
that you should include a township employee that's around and about, maybe a recreation employee, that can pinpoint these concerns because the only way some of them find out is from them employees themselves. Um, that's a point well taken. And we'll make that suggestion to the Security Committee. Thank you. Anyone else? Boy, it's really quiet this evening, so everybody wants to get back home. It's too cold outside. So, um, unless anyone else has uh, anything to address the Township Committee, I'll close the public portion. Uh, wish you all a good evening and uh, entertain a motion, Mr. Newman, to uh, move to closed session. I hereby move the resolution to incorporate the limits to authorize the Township Committee to enter an executive session for the following matter for the Open Public Meetings Act and the one contract negotiation of the insurance company. Number two, litigation. Upper Township versus Manhattan Center. Also, include a motion yesterday at time and circumstances under which the discussion is conducted in closed session. Can be disclosed to the public as follows? A. It is anticipated that matters discussed in closed session may be disclosed to the public. The public determination of the Township community and the public interest is no longer to be served by such confidentiality. B. In respect to contract negotiations, such matters will be made public when negotiations have ceased and there is no longer a reason for confidentiality. C, with respect to litigation matters, such discussion will be made public when litigation is complete and the applicable appeal period has expired. Second, Mr. Call the roll, please. Mr. Barr? Yes. Mr. Poisson? Yes. Mr. Insera? Yes. Mr. Newman? Yes. Mayor Plumbo? Yes. Motion is carried. <laughs>